I'm Derek Von Duff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of smartphones. Contacting someone far away used to be extremely difficult, especially in an emergency. There used to be smoke signals, but that backfired. Next was carrier pterodactyls. But they never caught on. And even throwing rocks wasn't getting the message across. That's when the smartphone was accidentally invented. By tapping the slab on the right place, it knocked off tiny insects who rested underneath it, who would then do tasks for you, such as delivery messages and bring you important news. These mobile devices can do a wide selection of things. You can listen to music on your Apple. Take a picture with your tablet. And then put it on the web. The smartphone is the perfect communication device, especially if you want to ignore everyone. But it does still have some bugs. I'm Susan. No, no, wait. Derek Von Guff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of tree houses. Heavy downpours can ruin anyone's day and anyone's house. Your home can get flooded, or you can get sudden uninvited guests. When this becomes a problem, it's time to move to greener pastures. Or should I say, taller pastures, which are also green. <laughs> Too hard. Huh? Too soft. Too big. Hmm. Too small. Huh? Or just too good to be true. Hmm. <sighs> Don't worry, she'll get out again in a couple of hours or so. Ah, there's no tree place like tree home. But make sure you're nice to the neighbors. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> And thus marks the rise and fall of tree houses. Oh dear, maybe give it a rest if you're not in the right head place. Uh -huh. And who said tree houses had to be in a tree? I did just now. I mean, what is this? A head house? It doesn't even make any. Ow! Ow! How is this even possible? Ah! I'm Derek Von Duff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of cakes. <laughs> Earthquakes will make anyone's day difficult, especially when it isn't an earthquake, but the rumbling tummy of a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Fortunately, fixing this problem should be a piece of, um, something. <laughs> I guess that's what you call a light lunch. Perhaps with some better ingredients, this will sell better than hot... whatchamacallits. Well, you can't have your thingy -bob and eat it. And just like that, cakes were invented. As well as cake judging contests. So as the old saying goes, let them eat. I'm Derek Von Duff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of bikes. Sometimes you have to move away from somewhere because you want a fresh change of scene or because everything you know is currently on fire. But migration is a lot of hard work, takes a long time, and you always have to look out for things that are trying to eat you. That's when the bike was invented. The bike, also known as the cycle, also known as the bicycle cycle, started out as a frame balanced on an anthill. Great for exercises, bad for bumps. But as luck would have it, the cavemen next door seemed very excited about these new circles they just created. Thus, the bike was born, but the basic design still went through many changes. No, looks too silly. You, I say. Try again. <laughs> that's not even a bike. That's a sandwich. Perfect. 
Now to protect the head. Remember, the head contains the brain, or as true scientists call it, the finky sponge. So, make sure you always wear protective headgear. There, now it's completely safe. See, the bike is fine. And with a little refinement, the bike is now the perfect flawless machine. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's just a little puncture. And we all know what to do in the event of a flat tire. Mm -hmm. That's right, give up and try a lot. Oh, never mind, let's order a pizza. Oh dear. <laughs> Next time I'll order a taxi. I'm Derek Von Guffrumpet, and welcome to the invention of uh, Valentine's Day. In the pre-Valentine's Valentines, attracting your would-be smooch recipient would involve a lot of stupid things, like flowers and doing an elaborate dance. <laughs> But of course, the only ones guaranteed to like flowers and dancing huh? are bees. Ah! And you can't kiss a bee. Well, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. So we need a new way of getting someone's attention. <laughs> you could give someone a piece of tree with some piffle about roses and violets. Roses are red, violets are blue, and fire is hot. But if that didn't strike her heart, then maybe this will. <laughs> well, that got her attention. And look as angelic as you want, stupid Cupid, but she doesn't look very affectionate. Look. A dinner date is the perfect way to get to know someone. Such as how incredibly hungry she is. So hungry, in fact, she's eaten the waiter. <laughs> and so it was on this date that the very first, first date happened. And with Valentine's invented, love is in the air. Oh, wait, no, those are bees. I'm Derek Von Guff Trumpet, and welcome to the invention of Christmas trees. With the ice age upon us and snow up to our ankles, we need shelter from the harsh weather and frozen pterodactyls. <laughs> Seeking safety swiftly, or else they will freeze. And in this winter of discount tents, we look to the trees. <laughs> But there isn't enough room in this particular inn. Finders, keepers, and losers break in. Competing for territory can make anyone's temper snap. So like a home alone child, it's time for an elaborate trap. Booted from the shelter, she faces a difficult decision. Find another tree, or keep fighting this silly eviction. Once again, she faces another tricky choice. Be dignified in defeat, or make a lot of... Fortunately, the evergreen is very, very sturdy and almost never, ever, 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 ever... <laughs> and what happened then? In Jurassic times, they say that the T-Rex's brain grew three sizes that day. <laughs> and in that moment, the Christmas tree was invented. And the diner friends shared it, warm and content. Oh, uh, apart from the pterodactyls. 